Hi, my name is Ann Soderman. I'm Global CT Cardiac Product Development. I'm very excited to be showing you Dynamic Myocardial Perfusion today. To launch the software, we just click on the protocol. We're going to load all of the heartbeats. We've done 25 heartbeats for this particular exam. When it loads, we're going to look at the cardiac reformat tab, segmentation, and functional maps. In the cardiac reformat tab, when that opens up, we can go ahead and play it in a cine mode, and we can look specifically at the myocardium and watch the contrast wash in and wash out in the myocardium. I can change the obliquity and I can look specifically at different heartbeats. Once I have my orientation completed, I want to say save orientation, and I'm finished with the cardiac reformat tab, and I'm going to move now to the segmentation. In segmentation, it will automatically find the ROI to do the perfusion, so I say accept ROI for my arterial input. And the next step in segmentation is we're going to segment out the myocardium in 17 segments. To start the segmentation, I'm going to click to deposit a point in the medial valve. I click to deposit a point for the lateral valve. And I click to deposit a point for the apex. And then I want to accept that so that it will segment out the myocardium into the 17 segments. When the segmentation is finished, we'll be able to see on the graph all 17 segments and how the segments are over time. So on the x-axis, I have my time frame. On the y-axis is my Hounsfield unit. So it's now segmented to the myocardium in that 17 segments. I'm gonna go and move into my functional maps page. And in my functional maps page, I'm going to get a color overlay that will be the qualitative data and also be looking at the quantitative data from the graph. We have functional information that can be shown. We will see blood flow. We can get blood volume, mean slope of increase, and mean transit time. We can also change our myocardium overlay, where we could have no myocardium overlay, the myocardium, and the 17 segments. We now have our color overlay, and we could see qualitatively where our deficit is in the myocardium. And for this exam, I see it's very nicely here in this segment. We also get a bullseye plot that shows us where the abnormality is. I can move to blood volume and very nicely see where the defect is in blood volume. And I see there on my bullseye plot where the defect is on the bullseye plot. This will aid the physicians in diagnosing heart disease. If they've had a coronary CTA, they can have a dynamic myocardial perfusion to help the clinician further assist and diagnose where there's deficits in the myocardium.